Hey welcome guys, back. welcome back to our continuing coverage here, 2015 NAB show in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm John P. And I'm Scott Ellis. And today we've got with us Greg Boren from Marshall Electronics. Yeah. Hey, Greg, how are you? How are you doing? Enjoying the show? Guys. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's been very busy for us this year, so. That's of good. Course. I've been, I've been watching. Going. You know, we get we get flooded with all of the uh, PR press releases and things coming through the emails. Right. But whenever I see Marshall ones, I stop and I read them. So <laughs> I, I actually do. I actually read them. So uh, I know that you guys have released some cool new cameras, right. Right. Mm -hmm. which it looks like you've brought several of them along. The little I brought the smallest one. Mini yeah. cameras, yes, I did. <laughs> which are super exciting. So, yeah. what kind of stuff you got going on? Well. This is the camera that got it all started for us. Uh, of course, you have to remember to remove the lens cap. <laughs> <laughs> Always. But this one here, the CB500, uh, as you can see, real rugged. Uh, here, let me pass it to you. Yeah, let's see. Uh, as I tell people, you could drive a nail with that camera. It's so solid. Um, so its claim to fame is not only small size, but interchangeable lenses. You can and it interchange comes with it? One. Yeah, you, wow. there's about wow. seven or eight lenses. Okay. Okay. Um, and SDI output. Connectors on the back. And why, why do we care about SDI output? That'll go 300 feet on a cable. You don't have to convert it like you do from HDMI right. to get distance. Uh, so we have interchangeable lenses. There's no recorder in here. Yep. So it's a little different animal than some of the other things. It runs uh, off of typically 12 volts, but you can put all kinds of things into it. There's a power adapter thing and so on. So that camera is in everything from uh, all the three-letter sports outfits uh -huh. to the Ellen Show to Formula One. Uh, that yeah, camera's the, everywhere. If, if we're watching a race with a, with the, from the inside camera car, you know, ca camera in yeah. the car, it's probably one of these. It, probably not for Formula One because they already have all those pre-built ahead of time. Oh, okay. But you'll see uh, helmet cams. You'll see, uh, you know, from pit crew. You'll see uh, cameras in the grass. Cars coming and going. Uh, they they put them on a stake in the ground. They put them in a lot of places. So yeah, they're everywhere. Uh, Hockey league starting to use these in uh, in the penalty boxes because, as I've been told, the guys like to hit the cameras with sticks. And, oh yeah. <laughs> and some of the other cameras don't hold up. So, right. Uh, so anyhow, this is full HD. I didn't mention this is full. 1920 1080p. by 1080, full HD, but it is selectable to 720 and other formats. Okay. So you get very high resolution. Matter of fact, all of these cameras. By the way, what's the yeah. what's the pricing on these little? It's around five hundred dollars. Very reasonable. And yeah. and how many? That that's just with one lens, or does it include multiple lenses? No, it, it comes with one lens for that price. Okay. And then there's a range of lenses. They're not terribly expensive. Yeah. But yeah, you could no. go like fish eye or wide angle or zoomed in a little. This or one here, I did a little calculation the other day. This one would be the equivalent of about a 25 millimeter on a DSLR. Yep. So it's pretty wide. Uh, so that's what that. Can you go even wider? Yeah. Like you we can could go, go wider. 14 or and something. And we also equivalent. have a pinhole one that you can spy on people. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it mounts with a. Uh, sorry, I'm probably <coughs> fooling the camera people by moving it so fast. Um, quarter 20. Standard quarter twenty. Standard 20. quarter twenty. Uh, solid mounted connectors. There's a little joystick on the back here to run the menus, uh, so you can go in and change formats and everything like that. So the thing's really taken off in the last year and a half. We've just gone absolutely crazy with cameras. It's does been this, kind of fun. Does this handle things like white balance in the camera? Yeah. Or is that all done after? No, you can do either fixed or or manual white balance. You do it, you know, through here. There is a remote, but that's. Uh, that's a remote where you'd actually bring menus up on the screen. So right. okay. you may or may not use that that way. Cool. So that's a standard. That's been around that thing is, for a while. It's, it, it's yeah, well it's, adopted, well tested, but you've got some new ones as well. Well, yeah, we shrunk it down. <laughs> and then this one comes with this lens, or this is a CS uh, type lens oh, here. Yeah. So this gives you other lens options. and But this one is so small, we couldn't put the connectors on it. So it has this dongle here, but there's still a joystick in the back, and your SDI comes out. SDI. Very, very power goes in. And yeah. power. So. What is the CS lens? That's a mount type, right? Yeah, it's like C-mount. It's just a different back uh, focal length. And so, so if, somebody, you know. if somebody were to get one of these cameras at B, you could go to like B and H and do a CS, do a search you for could CS buy, lenses and get. You one. could buy other lenses for this. Yeah, yeah. Are are all CS. the lenses <laughs> fixed, or can you, are there any zoom lenses or things that can be uh, on the larger cameras, on the camera. which I didn't bring? 
there are some zoom, but none of these have a zoom, zoom capability at this okay. time. These are mainly just put them everywhere and switch to which Absolutely. one you want, right? That's, that's exactly it, and uh, that's what people do. Yeah. They, they hide them. This one here kind of came. Way, this, oh, the, go ahead. Yeah. This one, what's the what's the price point in available? They're very similar. Uh, this one is a uh, five six hundred dollar range. Yep. Uh, same thing. Okay. And they're out already. People could get them. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yes, these are relatively new. This size here, and again, it is available with this small M twelve lens as well to make it even tinier. I imagine though, with so. that bigger lens, it's going to get better light sensitivity yeah, it'll, too. Yes. So. Yes, it'll gather more light. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. 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 And all ten eighty. Pardon? All 1080. 1080. Okay. All, all 1920, 1080. But again, they're not limited to that. You can select 720, yeah. which right. many of the sports networks uh, like that. Gotcha. Okay. okay, what else we got? And we've got this one, one more. That's a little bullet camera. This one is really very similar to this inside, but it's changed uh, shape, obviously. Uh, it has a changeable lens, too, but it has a cover here, allowing this to fall in water or work in the rain. Um, now, in this case, we had to go to the uh, dongle also. One, sing one single quarter 20 uh, screw mount. mount. And if I were to take that off, here, we'll, there we go. You'll see that it's got the same lens in there, basically, that's on these right. others. Uh, very similar. So, so I can see that mounted on a helmet, like well, on the outside of a helmet on a yes. yeah. motorcycle. It'll go there, and one of the car racing outfits, they like to put a a camera buried in the ground so the cars are driving over it, but they need to get a very shallow angle so they can see the car coming towards them. This one didn't allow that. Uh, you know, it had to kind of sit like yeah. this. This one can sit much more shallow. Got it. So they use uh, these very commonly. So yeah, we're getting a lot of traction with these cameras and they're just going out by the hundreds out the door. So it's been kind of been kind of fun. Actually. That is good. Yeah, again, on this one, same price point again, five, $600 range. Well, I'm looking at Todd. He's the uh, product <laughs> manager, and he's nodding, yes. So, so. And also available now? <clears throat> yes. Oh, by the way, so that we give people the, the specific model numbers, can you tell us which this model This is the CV200. This is the CV500 MB, which means Marshall Broadcast. Okay. And I forgot what he called this, 300? Uh, 150. 150. 150. Okay, uh, this CV, one's new to me, so CV that's why. Uh, and it mounts differently. There's uh, mounts on the side for this to hold it in a kind of a swivel arrangement. So they're all a little different. They all fit into different applications. But, but you can get them all. You can go to marshall-usa.com to see all of them. That's right. And basically, yeah. they're available in all the standard, you know, B&H and Adorama and all these guys yeah, are going to carry them. Yeah, <laughs> or you can give us a phone call and we'll we'll help you find somebody in your area that awesome. reps them or does something like that. Sure, uh, they go through many outfits. Most of our dealers and reps carry these as well. So, absolutely, uh, we had a lot of fun with these. Uh, like I said, they I get to go to all these interesting sports venues now. I know and, that's and, a great uh, job. You yeah, get to go been, see where they're being used. That's been really fun doing that. I'm thinking so. the next time we get thrown out of a plane by the Golden Knights. <laughs> We need some Marshall cameras Strap with one us. Of those. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, so I guess that's the it. thing is, you got to yeah. hook it to a recorder. That's the only thing. We've got to have an SDI. We need a little portable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We there need live go. view. That's now it. That would be an experiment. Yes. Hook that up to live view. Uh, jump out, jump out of an airplane. airplane. People do that. Yeah. That'd be good. <laughs> People do that. Well, in Formula One, they put one of these in the helmet of a uh, the Jack Cam guy. Oh. The Red Bull Jack Cam. <laughs> so you can see the car coming right at it, and he had a microwave transmitter on his back. Wow. And they just broadcast it straight out. That's awesome. So that was kind of, kind of cool to see that too. So, <laughs> Very cool. Uh, Very people good. keep finding uses for these and calling us up and going, oh, "Guess what I'm doing?" And uh, there's a, a guy who's outfitted these with fiber, and he he rents his system out and goes to uh, various venues and puts them on goalposts and things like that. Cool. So um, that's Monarch. Anyhow, I forgot what his uh, company was. Uh, Admiral. Okay. Admiral. All right. Nice. Thank you very much, Todd. So that's it. Uh, I don't know. I'll let you guys uh, ask me more questions. Yeah, well, we I mean, time? I think uh, you covered it pretty well. So we'll, we'll let people go and explore a little bit on the uh, website if they need more info great. or tweet us questions and things like that, you know. So thanks for joining us, Greg. We appreciate well, you coming No, thank you for inviting us. Toys. I appreciate it. And thanks, great nice to look. meet thank you guys. You. Yeah. Nice and, to meet uh, you too. Appreciate it. And you guys, stay tuned. We've got a lot more coverage coming up here from the show. We'll be right back.